Hey guys, got more random battles here for you. If you like this kind of content, leave a comment down below, and without further ado, let's get into it. I start off with my Tinkaton, he starts off with the Inteleon, goes for the Hydro Pump, misses, I hit him with the T-Wave, get that power. I then switch into my Walking Wake to resist the Hydro Pump, does barely anything to me. He then switches into his Zerud as I set up my Sunny Day to get my Photosynthesis boost. He then goes for the Power Whip and does a nice chunk to my Walking Wake. I retaliate with the Flamethrower, one shot the Zerud, and takes some Life Orb. He then sends out his Pinkurchin, gets the Electric Surge up, I go for the Hydro Steam, take a huge chunk from the Pinkurchin, but he's able to retaliate and take me out with the Discharge. I then send out my Cricketune, go for the Sticky Web, set up that Speed Control, he goes for another Discharge, does a little bit to the Cricketune, I then go for the Pounce and take out the Pinkurchin. He then sends out his Pelipper, gets that range started up, I go for the Taunt expecting him to set something up, but he goes right for the Hurricane, takes out my Cricketune. I then send in my Tinkatunk, get the mold breaking, go for the player off, do a little bit to the Pelipper. He goes for the Surf, does a big chunk to my Tinkatunk. Get some lefties back, go for the T Wave, try to get some more speed control over here. Goes for another Surf, does a big chunk to my Tinkatunk. I get some lefties, the taunt wears off. Go for another player off just to get some damage, but I get the full power, he's unable to take me out this turn. I go for the player off, almost take out the Pelipper, but he goes for a Roost, gets a lot of his health back. I then go for the Encore, trying to catch up in a setup or with the Roost, but he gets the full power, so it does nothing. I then decide to switch into my Tornadius Theory. He goes for the Roost, gets back to full health. He then switches into his Bronzong. I go for the Nasty Plot, trying to get my special attack up. I then fire off a Heat Wave, do a huge chunk to the Bronzong, but he's able to hang on, retaliate with the Psychic. He gets some lefties back. He then switches back into the Pelper, gets the Rain back up. I go for the Heat Wave, does nothing with that Rain. I then go for the Bleak Windstorm and completely whip, but he gets the full power, so it's a nothing turn. I then go for another Bleak Windstorm, this one's able to take out the Pelipper. My opponent then forfeits. Good game. I ask you guys to please like, comment, share, and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. And without further ado, let's get into game 2. I start off with my Gogo, -Go. he goes for the Chestnut. I go for the Bulk Up, he goes for the Iron Defense. I go for another Bulk Up, he goes for another Iron Defense. I go for the third bulk up, and he finally attacks me with the trailblaze, but I get the sap stiffer boost. I go for the horn leech, and it does basically nothing to him. He goes for the body press, does a huge chunk to my go-go. I then decide to go for another horn leech, does nothing again, get a little bit of health back. He goes for the body press, does a big chunk to my goat. We both get our lefties back. I go for the milk drink to try to get my health back. He starts boosting up his defense again. We both get some lefties. Then go for the Earthquake, does again nothing. Goes for the Body Press and does some good damage to my Go. Get some more lefties. I decide to go for the Horn Leech, get a lucky crit, get a big chunk back, but he's able to take me out with the Body Press. I then decide to go into my Glamora to try and deal with this beast. Go for the Sludge Wave, able to take out the Chestnut. He then goes into his Volcanion. I go for the Earth Hero, do a good chunk to him, but he's able to hang on. Retaliate with the Steam Eruption, get the Burn, and do a huge chunk to me. Take a little bit of burn damage, but able to retaliate and take him out with the Earth Power. He then decides to go into his Espathra. Goes for the Dazzling Gleam, but I'm able to hang on. I go for the Sludge Wave, do a big chump, get the poison, but my Glamora goes down to the burn. He gets a speed boost. I then decide to go into my Wordier, get the Intimidate off. He then decides to start commenting his mind right in the middle of battle. I go for the Body Slam, able to take him out. He then decides to go into his Salazzle. Goes for the substitute right in front of my face. I go for the EQ, break that sub. Gets a little bit of lefties back. He then goes for the protect. I decide to go for another earthquake. The lizard then decides to make another beam bag right in front of my face, but I'm still shaking the earth over here. He gets some lefties back, then decides to go for another protect. I'm still just earthquaking over here. Gets more lefties, and then goes for another little beam bag. I'm still shaking the earth over here. He gets a little bit of his lefties back. I then decide to switch into my Veluza. He goes for the Toxic, poisons my fish, gets a little bit of lefties. I take some poison damage. He goes for the Protect. I decide to go for the Aqua Jet, but it's protected. He gets a little bit more lefties back. I take some more damage. I then go for the Aqua Jet and finally take out the Lizard. I take some more poison damage. He then goes into his Balloon over there. Expecting the Ghost move, I switch back into my Deer, get the Intimidate, and I get my prediction right. He then decides to start setting up right in front of the deer's face. I go right for the T-Bolt, do a nice chunk to him. He goes for the Air Slash, chunks me up pretty good, but I go for another T-Bolt. He gets his Citrus Berry, gets a big chunk of his health back. 
Goes for another air slash, does a big chunk, and gets the flinch. I get a little bit back from left use, but he's able to clean me up with one more air slash. I then go back into my Veluza. Terror Water, go for the Aqua Jet, but he's still able to hang on. He goes for the Shadow Ball, does a good amount of damage, and then some poison, but Veluza is able to hang on, go for another Aqua Jet, and take out the Balloon. And then go down to the poison. He then goes into his last mod, the Eternatus. I go into my Persimian. He goes for the Dynamax Cannon, does about half to my monkey over here. I go for the Earthquake and do a big damage to him. He tries to recover, but that's not enough to stop the monkey, and I'm able to take him out. Good game. And now let's get into game three. I start off with the monkey again, and he starts off with the Sanaconda. I go for the knockoff, I'm able to knock off his lefties, and he decides to set up some rocks. I then go into my Oink along, take some rock damage, and eat up that Earthquake. He then decides to go for another Earthquake, I'm able to take that, eat my Lychee Berry, but then I misplay and go for the Stuffed Cheeks. He then cleans me up with another Earthquake. I then decided to go into my Glass Shear, he goes for the Stone Edge, does a good chunk to me. I go for the Ice Hole Crash and I'm able to take him out. I then get my Nay Boost. He then goes into his Heracross, I decide to switch expecting the fighting move. Go into my Dragapult, he goes for the Close Combat but I'm immune to that. He then switches into his Quailfish, gets the Intimidate off, I start dancing with the dragons over here, get my boost. I go for the Dragon Darts, do a little bit with each chunk, take some Life Orb damage, he decides to go for the Destiny Bond. I then decide to keep dancing with the dragons, get my boost over here, he decides to set up some Toxic Spikes, get some lefties back, I then take him out with the Dragon Darts. Take some Life Orb damage, he then decides to go into his Talon Flame, he goes for the Brave Bird, does a good chunk, but I'm able to hold on, go for the Dragon Tarts, take him out. Take some more Life Orb damage, he then decides to go into his Mimikyu, goes for the Shadow Sneak, takes out my Dragapult. He takes some Life Orb damage, I go into my Passimian, take some Rocks damage, and some Poison. He goes for the Play Rough, does a good amount to my Passimian. I'm able to retaliate with the Knock Off, destroy the Disguise, and knock off his Life Orb. I take some more Poison damage, he goes for the Shadow Sneak, but I'm able to hang on. Retaliate with the Knock Off, leave him with about a quarter of his health back, I then go down to the Poison. I then go back into my Ice Horse, he goes for the Play Rough, does a little bit to me, but I'm able to go for the Stomping Tantrum and take out the Mimikyu. I get my Nay Boost, he then goes back into the Heracross, goes for the Close Combat and takes out my Ice Horsey. He gets to the Defense Drop, but then he gets his Moxie Boost. I decide to switch into my Kabaraja, take some Rock Damage, go for the Terra Fairy, he goes for the Close Combat, still does a big chunk to me. I go for the Play Rough, with the Defense Drops, I'm able to take him out. He then goes into his last mom, the Mewtwo, decides to go for the Side Strike and take out my Kabaraja. But now down to the one-on-one. -on -one. I go into my Belly Bolt. Take some rocks, get poison. He goes for the size strike, but I'm able to eat that up. I get my charge boost, he takes some life orb, I go for the T-Wave. Get some lefties, but then loots to the poison. I then decide to go for the slack glove, get a big chunk of my health back. He gets the full power, I get more lefties back. I then go for the charge boosted T-Bolt, do some big damage. He goes for another size strike, I get another charge boost. My opponent then decides to leave. Good game. And that's the video. Please let me know what you guys think about the random battles down below, and please stay tuned for more future content. Peace.